Hey ho, what's up, sexy Sam Letter Squad? Today is a great day. My girlfriend is coming over. She'll be here in around, uh, around four and a half hours. It's so awesome. I'm at uh, the leanest I've been at in like three years. Oh my god, I love it. And uh, and we just hit 10k views in one day. On the Hercules video. Thank you guys so much. Absolutely amazing. I'm going to continue with this warrior trend. That you guys have been absolutely eating up. And loving. Uh, the Bologna game and the Hercules game. Both have a ton of views. So we're going to keep it going. Peace be with you. We're going to try a Vimana game. Ooh Poseidon. Now this boy can kite. He's speedy as hell. If he gets sprint first relic. I think we're coming to shaft. Vetoni. Vetoni versus I'm sad to do. Better to conquer yourself than to win right. a thousand battles. Um, let's then see. The victory is yours. What am I what am I feeling? You don't go transcendence, okay? And I know a lot of people are like, but Sam, you have to go transcendence for mana does many ability damage. You do the transcendence for the more ability damage. Uh no, you don't, because his ultimate is so strong now. You get protections, you get physical power. Look at that, look at that. At, at level 20, you have 35 protections from both physical and magical. And uh, you gain 100 physical power. Absurd, by the way. And you're like, you're faster, right? Okay, you're not faster, but you know, it doesn't matter because you have like AOE autos. And you have a shield that's crazy good. Dude, it's just, it's crazy. It's so good. The ult is so good. I don't want to take all the damage in the world, so I'm not gonna. Ooh, that out clear though. Oh, we got sprint. Okay. So we got a smart cookie on our hands. Let's see if maybe we can grab this. It'd be really, really beneficial if we could. There we go. I'll hold my two for that secure. And he used his biggest clearing ability. Excuse me. Please excuse me. Let's go to his blue. I don't think he can fight me at all, so. Just keep that mana pot ticking. I might as well use a health pot too, like. Alright. Well, I got... Oh, did I get all of them? Oh my god, I think I actually got all of them. Alright, we're just gonna keep maxing our three. He's like no mana. He's going Bancroft first. Oh, that was a bad two. He might seal this. Oh, really close. Holy crap, I almost got so punished. Probably gonna crack in me here. I'm not gonna Aegis. He has no mana. No reason for me to Aegis. That was like... That was really risky. I think a lot of people would have Aegis anyways. But I knew that he had no mana, so there's... I like it. There's no kill potential if he has no mana. That was just him trying to get my Aegis. There is no need for such and I'm not going to let him get it that easily. Come on. Come on. You know me better than that. I got calculations running through my brain like a goddamn mathematician. Let's do this, dude. Let you push the wave because I don't care about it. You're the wave because I do care about it and I lied before. Dash on you so I can get some poke. 130 damage, not bad. Oh, he's actually going boots first. He's back. Wait, is he dead? No. I was gonna go for my corner, but I don't think it's time. Not yet. I'm gonna go ahead and just try to keep our lead as much as possible. I'm not gonna waste abilities on this if he's not even contesting. They do four damage. It's not like a hurt.
Now the next Kraken he does, I definitely will have to Aegis him. Release your negative. Please excuse me. Probably. I am enlightened. Okay. Nice. Really nice. An alt for a relic? I will take that any day of the week. And and red buff secure. Hell yeah. Um, now here's the deal. We either go into defense right now or we go into hastened katana. I'm going to decide to defense. But uh, to be honest with you, I think that either option is totally okay. Um, I know a lot of people might be like, no, you need defense. No, you need katana. But I think both options are really good because you absolutely need both. So it doesn't really matter what you go first, I think. I want to get his blue again, if that's possible. He might crack in it, though. Actually, let's be careful for the Kraken. He seems like the kind of player that might want to crack it. He got it with an auto. I hate everything. You are not getting this. Get away from it. Okay. He doesn't have sprint. Yo, he's dead. Please excuse me. He's not dead because I'm trash. I missed my three. Damn. He was so dead there. Please dead, dead, dead. Oh, I didn't get the double hit. Four plays. Alright, let's go grab our Genjis. There is no need. We'll just grab one mana pot. I don't think we need to keep going overboard with the pots. I did early game just because uh well I needed I needed to out sustain him, and the only way to do that, if you're not a sustain heavy character, is with potions, so. I'm actually going to pick this up. That'll help a lot, really. Uh, just clear the way with the three. I don't know where he went. Oh, oh he probably got the minis. Didn't he? Did he get these minis? No, my XP. Oh, he didn't. No. Oh. Get the, uh, I was going to get the timer on that, but I don't want this wave to go past me and then get all messed up. And we're going to get the timer. Uh, and then I don't know what we're going to do, to be honest. There's no reason he would come to blue, so hiding there is pretty pointless. The fast cooldown. Please excuse me. Why he thinks he can fight me, I will never know. Release your negative energy. Well, that's really awkward. Let's get red buff. Please excuse me. <laughs> we hit him with the slow, repositioned ourselves. Nice! We hit him with the slow, we repositioned ourselves with the Vamana 3, and we ended up catching a fucking W. He surrendered after first blood because he's a little baby bag bitch. And let me analyze that game a little bit more for two reasons. One, ad revenue, 10 minutes, obviously. And two, because uh, I feel like he shouldn't have surrendered, and let me tell you why. The reason why is because Poseidon can camp so well he can camp so well under phoenix and titan and he can alt that motherfucking objective he can alt that fire giant and seal it for me i have no secure over that i don't know why he's speaking spanish to me or portuguese or uh, is he calling me pregnant i don't know what's happening he said oh uh una una pregnant he's one pregnant i don't know what that means details let's see um yeah actually i'm hiring everything man 
I was going to say maybe he did more minion damage than me, but he didn't, dude. He just got fragged. His mistake, I think, was... Actually, I don't know what his mistake was. Sprint is the right play. Going boots first was the right. I, you know what? This mages is a bad play. I don't I don't like mages. He should have either rushed boots or rushed bancrofts and not gone for any starter relic. And the reason I think that is because the damage you get and the sustain you get from magis is so minuscule. Because you have to remember, in duel, uh, in duel the lanes are like this big. You know, like you can get back to lane in four seconds. You don't really need a ton of sustain. The only reason you need a ton of sustain is for that first first fight uh, to to dictate who gets that red buff or not, and that might snowball the game, which is why you need all that sustain. But mages is not going to do that. Instead of getting mages, you can get five of each pot. You know, like it's so much better to just get a ton of pots and tier two bancrofts or tier two boots and a ton of pots than it is to go mages for the sustain. Uh, but maybe he got mages for a different reason. Maybe he got it for the cooldown or something. I'm not sure. But if you guys enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Hit the notification bell. And until next time, peace.